I'm Candy Carver and I'm a visual artist. I was born in Durham, North Carolina. Within a year of being born here, I was we moved to Indiana and I grew up there. By the time I went to high school, I think I knew that I wanted to move to North Carolina when I grew up. I never felt like I fit in very much in, in Indiana. I always felt kind of like I thought about things differently. Though I got made up fun of for it sometimes, I didn't necessarily change. I kind of just liked who I was. And so in 2007, I moved back to Durham and all of that stuff that I got made fun of about or maybe weird or different there was totally embraced in Durham. Durham is 50% black. So anytime I enter a room or a space and I see that I'm not represented adequately, I want to, I want to know why. I've got um, a few young ladies in the community that I work with and there are also visual artists and all of them are minority young ladies. Um, and one in particular has shown a serious interest in visual arts. I've had lots of great influences, especially um, Candy Carver, who has taken me under her wing and she's let me see kind of like the business side of art of like, here's the price and here's how to figure out how to do everything you need to do. Me and my dad were going to her exhibit actually at Letters Bookshop and I went to go talk to her and she was like, hey, I'm doing this thing with teenage females for artists, do you want to come do it? And I was like, oh, I'd love to, that sounds really fun. And so then I went to the first meeting and I met all the other people who were doing it. There are young people who say, hey, I really enjoy art. I'm, I really want to paint, I really want to draw, I want to be a, an illustrator, but they don't understand that there is a, mo a model for them to have a professional career um, and make money from, from it. Let's just say that everybody had the same idea that art would be orange, okay? Then everything would just be orange. There wouldn't be any variations. There wouldn't be anything else but that. But if we had multiple people say, no, art is red or art is purple, then you get multiple different aspects and then you can have people who can combine that and mix it and figure out how it's going to work. People need something that makes them feel good, that looks like them, that embodies their spirit, or how they want to feel sometimes. Sometimes we just want to feel good and powerful, and we don't. And I want that to be able to do that for them.